So you might be in a situation where for some reason your phone is not updating to Android 14. Now, this can happen for an unlimited amount of reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is making sure that first of all, your phone is connected to an internet connection of some sort. This is the first thing I'd recommend troubleshooting for every single person out there. So just make your way over to your settings application of your phone. And then all you're going to want to do is go ahead and just make sure that you have some sort of Wi-Fi connection available. You can see for me, I'm not even connected to Wi-Fi or a cell connection. And that'd be the first reason why your phone is not updating to Android 14. The next thing, this is very basic. You also want to make sure your phone is currently supported with that Android version. On the Pixel 4a that I have right here, this phone is not supported on Android 14. I think you need a Pixel 5 or newer, maybe a Pixel 6, as well as the Samsung Galaxy S21 or newer, so many other phones. So just to make sure that your specific device is supported on that version of software, that's another massive thing I'd recommend keeping in mind as well. On top of that, one of the other things I'd recommend doing is making sure that that update is available for your phone, even if it is supported with that version of software. For example, on the Pixel 4a, if I were to make my way over to my system settings, it's not really going to work because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. But you, if you are available, if you if your phone is available of having that update, it may not even be available for your phone yet. It may come at a later date. So double check with your you know, Samsung Galaxy rep or your Google Pixel rep or customer contact or like a Twitter page or X page that shows like when these phones are getting updates. And you may just want to go and see if that ends up being the case that your phone is getting that specific update at a later date. On top of that, those dates come and go it may be required by your cell carrier that it may be delayed. So that's another thing. If you have T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, even if that update is already available, it may have to go through your carrier before they actually push that update out. So contact your carrier if, you're, if it's still not being able to, if your phone's still not getting that update. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.